Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be servicing my modified Polo GCI. I'm going to take you guys through it. Let's get right into it. So guys, I say service, but we're really just doing an oil change. This car's going for stage two very soon. I like to do oil changes every sort of four to 5,000 miles, supposedly very essential on these engines to keep them running well, especially if they're modified. So today we're going to be using the Miller's Oil 5W40 NT Plus. It's their competition spec oil, really great for modified cars. Um, normally these uh, engines use quite thin oil, but apparently when you're running higher levels of boost and asking more out of your engine, you want to use this kind of oil. So we've got six liters of that. We're going to be putting 5.7 liters in this engine. We've also got a genuine Volkswagen uh, oil filter. Don't be using these cheaper, you know, copy filters. Just use the genuine stuff. And we've also got a new sump plug. Uh, these engines use a plastic sump. Um, I did actually have a magnetic plug at one point, but that broke. So we're just using these for now. May go back to that at some point. But yeah, let's get the car jacked up. Let's get it drained and let's get on with it. Uh, guys, I said I wanted to remove the cat. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what it's still doing here. Hello. So guys, just quick side note. Um, I have no option but to jack this car up on gravel, uh, which is not ideal. Jacks have to move quite freely on the bottom for them to work properly. Uh, otherwise, it kind of just raises up and then brings the car towards yourself. This is not the safest option, but it's my only option. Uh, so I'm going to jack the car up, get an axle stand on there for safety, and then we can get the oil drained. I have actually already driven this car out, let it sit for a little while so the oil is, you know, uh, more viscous. Uh, no, not viscous, less viscous. It's, it's runnier. I can't think of the word. <laughs> but let's get this car jacked up. Let's get the oil drained and let's get on with it. So guys, I've jacked the car up just enough for me to get underneath. Uh, what we're going to do now is take off the engine cover and the oil cap, drain the oil from underneath the car, um, let it drain out fully, then we can plug it back up and fill it up with the good stuff. Something I completely forgot about guys, it feels like a little while since I've done an oil change on this car. You want to take your oil filter out now at this point while it's draining. Um, it allows a little bit more oil to kind of escape from this housing. Um, yeah, you're going to want a 32 millimeter socket. So it's right on the top there. Um, so yeah, I'll get that out now. like a brown ass booty hole <laughs> so guys once you've removed the old filter and given this a clean you want to replace the o-ring so every new filter will come with a new o-ring for you to use you pop that on in the exact same spot but you use some fresh oil to lube it up first it helps with its sealing you don't use the old stuff uh, you want to pop it back in the car after and then torque it up to spec but i'll show you that just after Right guys, so the engine is now running. I'm starting to get up to operating temp. Uh, then I'm gonna shut it off, let it sit for about five, check the dipstick, top up if needed. If not, I'm all good to go. Guys, it even sounds healthier. And ticky as shit, because these engines sound like crap. 
So guys, that concludes today's video. Thank you so much for watching me do an oil change on my Polo GCI. If you found the uh, video useful at all, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel because there's plenty more content coming on this car and other things too. Uh, as I mentioned, the car is going to stay to you very shortly in about a month's time, so an oil change was much needed. Honestly guys, it's taken me about an hour to do an oil change plus filming today. Um, so if you're scared of doing an oil change, give it a go. Honestly, save a load of money. I think it's quite therapeutic personally. Um, and yeah, obviously it'll keep your engine running great for a long time. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, guys, have a great time. My name's Ed, and this is Passion for Petrol.